welcome back. My name's Nicole and today I'm gonna be doing a little small office tour. This room is actually very tiny and there's a lot going on, but I'm in love with how this room turned out. It's probably one of my favorite rooms of the house. The next room we're doing is the nursery and I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna be just as excited if not more, but this room just turned out exactly how I envisioned it, if not better and I'm really excited to show you guys around in my little magical greenhouse office, which is what I'm calling it because it really is a greenhouse in here. There's a lot of plants, so get ready. Um, but before we hop in, I want you guys to take a moment and subscribe if you aren't already. You can click that red subscribe button down below. Join the HealthNet community. I post here every single week and I'm really excited to have a new office space to work from, especially when the baby arrives in a couple of months. So the door to the office is actually over there. So I'm behind or I'm in front of the closet and I'm just next to actually two vision boards. If you saw earlier this year, I actually documented some behind the scenes of creating these. Matt did one too, and I just put them in these really cute frames here that I just got from a craft store. By the way, I'm gonna link as many things as I can in a blog post down below in the info box. There'll be links and lots of photos if you guys wanna see everything um, just in an easy to read format. But where this whole room was really inspired from was my vision board, which is really cool. So there's actually a little office nook here. And I ended up finding the blog post that this photo was attached to. And I forget her name, I think her name is Sarah. I will link her blog in the blog post and down below. She really inspired this office. She is a crazy plant lady and I am now one too. I probably will have to admit. And she really gave me some inspiration for this small office and that's kind of what was the catalyst for doing my own design. So thank you, Sarah, for the inspo. And it's just really cool to have, you know, vision boards up in a space that you're being creative, you're working, it creates like a really good positive atmosphere. And actually crazy enough looking at this, I feel like a lot of things have already come into fruition. There's lots of things here that just inspire me and keep me motivated with my personal life and in my career. Actually, before we move into my favorite part of this office, we're gonna just look at this little nook here, which was kind of a last minute addition. So I'm kind of doing like, we're doing like a backwards tour here. Um, but I end up finding these really cute acrylic shelves online. I will link them and they're just so stylish. I wanted to make like a little storefront for my skincare line, Beauty Nut Skincare. I actually launched this last fall and it is a very dear to my heart project because it's something that I've been wanting to create for a long time. And I just think that these shelves really display it nicely. Once again, is another thing that keeps me inspired in here. Obviously, if I need a restock, I can just come in here, you know, grab, grab one and um, have it ready to go. But I love these shelves. They're really easy to install. And obviously you can use these in the bathroom and stuff too, and put really whatever you like on them. And then underneath, Funny enough, this is a Monstera plant. I got this for a really good price at Home Depot and originally it was in the living room, but it wasn't doing that well. I think it was in a dark corner and it needs more light. So I just brought it, I asked Matt to carry this here like temporarily and then I kind of just fell in love with it. I was like, you know what? she can stay in here. I'm calling her Molly. Molly the Monstera can stay in here and I think she's gonna get way more light in the greenhouse office. So she's she's thriving. I think she's gonna get nice and big here. And I think it just kind of really goes with the vibe of the office. Speaking of plants, we have the most epic plant shelf wall here. This is something that just makes me so happy. I really wanted to just create a shelving unit filled with plants. And I think I accomplished that, needless to say. So I kind of started first with just finding a unit to house everything on. Matt was under the impression that this was gonna be for storage, but I was under the impression that it's for plants. It's a little bit of both. And I love that this is actually all bamboo. So it just really adds to the space and I just, I love bamboo. The other really cool thing about this unit is that it's floating. It doesn't actually touch the ground. So it's really easy to clean under. I can tuck Cash's bed under if I want. And I kind of did a mixture of not only plants, for decor, but also just as like um, a way for me to display certain awards that I've gotten 
um, like my YouTube plaque. I also have my notable award here for YouTuber of the year, which was such a cool accomplishment. And also just some filming equipment. I have my mic, I have some cameras on here and it's like functional, but it's also like a nice way to display everything. And then of course I have my cookbook, which is another really exciting accomplishment. And I just have like some really fun, I try to like make all the pots like different sizes and shapes and colors and kind of whimsical, but still going with the earthy vibe. So I really like that. I found a few things from HomeSense, like this elephant, which are good luck, especially if their trunk is up. There's also some pieces from the Health Nut Shop. We actually have a home section now, if you guys have not checked that out. And these are really cute little white, I don't know if these are clay or porcelain, um, but you can really use them for anything. I just have some faux plants in here. That's really cute. I have another one here, and we also have a little watering can that's also from the Health Nut Shop. I really wanted this shelf to be something that when someone comes in, there's a lot to look at, and it's kind of a conversation piece. And so far, everyone that's come into the space is just a little bit, they're like, whoa, there's a lot going on in like a good way, but they're just like, oh, that's so cute. Oh my God, I see that. And they can kind of just like scan their eyes and just find something new every time. And then there's also some stuff like memory things from Thailand. We got this little frog guy. It's supposed to sound like a frog. Anyways, he's so cute. So I have him, him here displayed. I also have a lot of my rocks and gemstones that I like to collect. Um, they just make me really happy. So I have those kind of scattered throughout, which I've collected over the years. And then I also have my diffuser going. You guys know I love my essential oils. So I really love to have something diffusing in here when I'm working, whether I need something energizing or relaxing. Um, I just have some oils next to my diffuser and I just think it adds like a really calming vibe to the space. And then I got another plant. I've been wanting a snake plant for so long. They're really easy to take care of. Um, this is Sandra, <laughs> the snake plant. She's been thriving and she's like in this corner so far. I actually bought this pot like months ago and sometimes I do that. I'll see something cute. I don't know what's gonna go in it yet. And then, you know, and then I find something and it works out. They were the perfect match. Uh, she fits right in and I think she's getting the perfect amount of light right next to the door. Now for the actual storage part of this office, cause that was really important, was to actually have some extra space. Cause right now we were housing a lot of things in the guest room, which is gonna be turning into the nursery. So we really needed some extra storage in this room. And these little bins I also got from Ikea are great. They're not filled yet, but I like that they have tops on them. So you can fill them, but it doesn't look junky and you can't really see inside. I'll probably label them once I figure out what's going inside. And then I really like these sliding drawers. Um, so those are really handy and they just have glass shelves in them. But yeah, I just think it's just a beautiful wall. Like I said, it's a bit of displaying some accomplishment stuff, equipment, but also having storage for things to put away. By the way, I don't know if you can tell on camera, this room is quite small. So if you have a similar space in your home and you're just thinking that you can't create the space that you want for a home office or whatever room that you're looking to create, just be creative and you know, just try to really work with what you have because I thought the space was so small when there was nothing in it and there's a lot in it now and I still don't feel like it feels super cramped. So. Just some inspiration for all those small rooms in your house. I'm sure you can turn them into something magical like this office. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the other side of the room. All right, so now we have the actual desk. Now, when I was looking for desks, I could not find something I liked. I looked at high-end places, low-end places. I just couldn't find anything. And that blog post that I was referencing earlier actually had this exact same setup. So I basically, mimicked that and I brought that into the space because I thought, oh, it's very neutral. It's also quite, it's a nice large working space, so it fits really well um, for what I need. And I just got it off Ikea and it's actually three parts. So I kind of like just put the three together to make a desk, um, which is really nice that they allow you to do that. You can really just like build it depending on your needs if you want two storage units on either side. So how I did it is this is just like a wooden, uh, wooden top. And then on one side I have, I don't know what it's called, but it's kind of like a easel leg. And then on the other side, I actually have, I think they're called the Alexa, Alexa drawers. 
which is just good for storage and there's like a filing cabinet on the bottom. And then what I also liked from that blog post was this little storage, I don't know what you call it, but it's like a little storage drawer unit. I still need to like properly organized inside. I really like this. It's actually much bigger in person than I thought when I saw it online. So if you're ordering this, it's, it is quite large, but it's good because you can actually store a lot of stuff in it. And then up top, I really wanted just to add some more like crafty, uh, unique pieces to this room. So I actually just went on Etsy and searched office decor and there's tons of stuff that came up. So it's definitely a great place to find like little knickknacks and stuff for decorating and that are actually useful. I really wanted a little card holder. So I love this pink ceramic, or it's actually a pink concrete that is handmade. I thought it was really cute. I also found this really cute, uh, just kind of calendar stand off Etsy. And I thought the plants on it went really well with the theme. Like every month has a different plant. So it is currently August, but I don't know if it's gonna be, is it September or October when they see this? Maybe October, we're, we're ahead with the videos. So I love that and just stand, sits right there so I can look at it and know what day of the week it is. And this also, to be honest, Matt got this so long ago, we don't have it set up, but it's really cool. It's a little Wi-Fi device where you can put it up on the wall and if someone's visiting, they can just like tap their phone or device to it and it will log them into the Wi-Fi. I don't really know, he buys, he's really into like technology and gadgets and stuff. Even though my job is online, I'm not tech savvy, so I don't really know how that works, but that's what that is. And then I just have a little cute aloe plant here, which hopefully will stay alive. I've been doing pretty good at keeping these plants alive and thriving, so fingers crossed that they all stay alive. <laughs> Moving along on the desk, um, I just have a few little knickknacks, things that you would need at your desk. Um, really, I just wanted like some fancy stuff. I've always wanted like a fancy calculator and things like that. So these are all, it's all um, by the same line. I forget what they're called, but I will have them linked. I have this gold and acrylic calculator. I have a tape dispenser and a stapler. And they're just like, they're kind of like a little piece of artwork on your desk. They look really pretty. And then I just have some other little knickknacks here. Um, I have this really cool wooden charging station for my phone that you can just like set your phone on and charge, which is nice. You don't have to deal with like wires and stuff. And then my brother actually 3D printed this little frog memory card holder. And I think my sister asked him to make something like this. So cute. I don't know what his name is, but um, we got a little memory cards so we don't lose them. We're always like trying to find a good system on how to organize those. So those are really cute. Thanks, Brando. And then I just have my Sharpies. You guys know I always sign the Health Nut Cookbook with a turquoise Sharpie. Um, if you guys buy a cookbook from the shop, um, it actually always comes signed. So if you guys want it personalized, just leave a note. Um, but I sign them myself, so, and we ship internationally. And I use the turquoise Sharpies to do that. I have also this stand, which is really nice um, because it just, allows the desktop monitor to be a little bit higher and then you can still store things underneath. Next to it, I just have one of our main hard drives for like, because we're always filming a lot of content and taking a lot of photos, we need a lot of storage. So we have, I think like four huge hard drives and we actually have to order another one. So we basically, we organize one for every year. And then next to it, we just have, this is a label printer for the Health Nut Shop that Matt uses up here. Um, to print the labels for all your orders. I have this little lamp I got from Ikea. And then what else is on here? Oh, I also got this cork mat. This is also from Ikea. And I like this because it makes it nonstick for my keyboard and mouse pad, um, but also just helps protect your desk. Like this was inexpensive. So if this was to get marker or like damaged or something in any way, I can just replace it and it doesn't ruin the actual surface of the desk. And then in this corner here, I also found this on Etsy. I thought this was so cute. I forget the name of them, but they're like little clay um, diffuser balls. So you can, I, I think they're all handmade and you basically just drop your oils into it and it smells up the room and you don't have to worry about plugging anything in. So this is something you can just add your oils to and have next to you while you're working and still get the benefits of the essential oils and it just looks really cute. So I put it in this little basket here. And then of course I have some essential oils on the side cause I'm always like diffusing 
oils or putting them on or, you know, they're just a part of my everyday life. And then up here, I'm really excited because I actually recycled um, these prints from the guest room. We had to get them out of there anyways to get ready for the baby. And I thought these worked perfect in the space because they're plants and obviously there's a plant theme happening in the greenhouse office. Uh, so I thought they worked really good and it was actually Matt's idea to stagger them because then we could fit this bamboo shelf that also matches the bamboo shelving behind you. And I just put a couple of knickknacks. This is also from the Health Net Shop home section. And then I have this sign that I actually got a long time. I must have gotten it last year from Chapters. I love the saying and I just think it's very inspirational. And then I also have this clock from the Health Net Shop and then just a little fake succulent on the side. And I just think everything looks so cute together. I love working here. Ever since I finished this room, I just feel way more productive in here. It's finally a space that I have in the home that is just for me and just separates like that work life situation. And especially when baby comes, I really wanted a room that I can just come into and kind of just disconnect a little bit and focus on my work um, because I am a mom entrepreneur or I will be and the work definitely does not stop when baby comes. So I'm just trying to find like a way to balance it all. So wish me luck. But this space I think is gonna be really nice to have um, once she gets here. Okay, so moving along, we have this little corner here, which I wasn't planning on really getting this, but when we were shopping around at Ikea to get a few other things for the house, uh, Matt was the one, I think that Matt, or, I don't know who saw this first, but I think this looks like total greenhouse vibes. So I knew I had to get it. They have this in other colors, um, but I love it because you can get all these little attachments and really make up whatever configuration that you want so i just have i just bought a couple of pieces have some scissors these are just some trimming what do you call these like clippers for the garden so they're there so you know it goes on our gardening our garden board here i got some highlighters here actually it was inspired to get these from my cousin caitlin caitlin's corner here on youtube and i have yet to use these but i need, i want to find something to highlight uh, so i have those i have some post-it notes and yeah so lots of you really utilize this for anything. I just thought it went really cute with the space. And um, then I have, this has been here for a long time. This is like cashews holder. Like usually we have like a towel on here or her leash or whatnot, or like poop bags. So I just didn't have those displayed right now, but usually we have that too. And then I really wanted a hang, hanging macrame in here. So I actually found a pack of, I think it was four macrames on Amazon. I will definitely link that. It was such a good price. I think they were $35 for four of them. So I bought the pack so I could like spread them out throughout the home. And I just, this pothos plant was actually in my like entryway and I moved him in here. And I think he's gonna do really well. I just have to repot him, but it fits right in this corner. And I think he's still gonna do good with the lighting. That's why I have some, like these are all faux and that little one is faux because you don't really get as much sun in this corner and something you wanna be mindful of if you're gonna do a lot of plants in the space is like how the lighting is. Now in terms of the chair, originally I wanted to get like a really nice ergonomic chair. I literally just took a chair from the dining room. This is actually a very comfortable chair and um, we had extra, like you can't even tell that I pulled one out. So not like we're having a ton of people over right now. So I used my dining room chair in here. I think it works with the space. It's really comfortable. I'll usually have a blanket or a pillow here just to help support my back. Um, but I've been really liking it. So I think this is gonna be fine for right now. I'm not in any rush to spend hundreds of dollars on another chair. And then to help light up the office space, I found this bamboo light from Ikea as well. And I love it. I think it really adds um, a fun artsy element to the space. And we actually have a Philips light in it, which you can like turn it any hue of color. And which is nice when you're filming, if you want white light or if you want a warmer light, or you want something fun like pink or purple, you can change it to whatever you want, just like using an app on your phone, which is fun. And then what we're actually standing on is the final piece I was waiting for because it was on back order for a couple of months and it's this beautiful Moroccan inspired rug. I actually found this at Urban Outfitters online and it's just beautiful. It was worth the wait. I'm in love with how it looks. It adds a pop of color to this very 
neutral, earthy space, but it's just really fun without being too overwhelming. It's kind of like a washed out, muted, um, I guess like pink and peachy color tone. There's like two different versions they had with different colors, um, but I love this one. I think it's just, like I said, it's really fun and it just pulls the whole space together and it's like artwork on the floor. I'm, I'm in love with it and I love how it looks. Also, Cashew loves this rug. As soon as we got it in, she just laid right on it and I think you look great on it, huh? Lie down. Oh, she loves it. Is that comfy? <laughs> Cashew approves. So there you have it. This is my small office makeover greenhouse boho vibes. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it inspired you guys to create the office of your dreams regardless of the square footage that you're working with. As I mentioned, I'm gonna have a full blog post with links to everything you see here photos, descriptions, all of that because I found it really useful too to find blogs and stuff that were just giving good details to help me create the space. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really supports my channel and I post here every single week and sometimes I do tours and other times I do like what I eat in a day videos, grocery hauls, um, day in life vlogs, uh, recipes, there's tons of stuff on this channel and I hope to see you guys soon. So join the Health Nut family and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a fabulous day. Bye guys. All right, I gotta do some work now. You guys gotta go. I'm gonna be productive in my new office. Bye guys.